In today's video, I want to go over yet another awesome update to Ghost of Tsushima. It's not necessarily a content update, however, with the inclusion of multiplayer, with the fact that this game is $60 and they're giving you such a grandiose update for free, some people were led to believe, hey, maybe microtransactions are going to be implemented into this multiplayer component. Well, don't worry. In an interview with IGN, Sucker Punch Productions confirmed that the game is not planned to include microtransactions. We'll talk that. We've also got some updates on PlayStation 5 titles, Hitman 3 uh, details, its game modes, an Observer System Redux graphics comparison trailer, and it looks a lot better. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first of all, speaking to IGN, thanks to VG247, Sucker Punch Productions, via a PlayStation representative, clarified that the upcoming Ghost of Tsushima Legends update will be free from microtransactions, noting, quote, there are no microtransactions in the Ghost of Tsushima Legends, and we have absolutely no plans to add them. All of the content is unlocked through play. That is awesome to see. I know that maybe the idea of us, you know, giving credit to games, not including microtransactions is kind of dumb. I mean, should microtransactions be a thing in games in general? But nowadays, it seems more often than not, games have microtransactions rather than not having them. So I feel like giving credit to it you know, they're, they're straying away from the norm, so I can give them some credit, and I'm happy about that, because again, the base Ghost of Tsushima game already easily worth $60. This Legends expansion, a lot of other publishers, and you're kidding yourself if you don't think this, a lot of other publishers and developers would have charged $10, $15, $20, or even $30, depending on the extent of the update, and it looks pretty big. I mean, two-player story missions, four-player uh, wave-based missions, and then you're talking about raids being included as well. I would imagine that this is going to be something that does add a significant amount of content. And with this update, it would be something, again, a lot of developers and publishers would charge a premium price tag on. Maybe even $30. Yes. Look at some of the expansions that are released these days and look at how much content is in it. Legends is something that a lot of other developers absolutely would charge money for, but it's great to see that not only is Sucker Punch going to provide this for free, but the fact is that they're not even going to try to monetize it in any way. The monetization comes from the fact that, hey, Ghost of Tsushima is an incredible experience. Spend your $60 on it, and you get all of this content as it comes out. That is so cool to see. And it's just a little bit off the beaten path than we're typically used to. Not to give, not to take away credit from other games. We've seen Capcom do this with Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World is a game that, yes, they ultimately did release a $40 expansion. However, even after release, and that game was great on release, they released update after update after update, adding new content for no additional cost. I believe the game was already at an incredibly high level, but the fact that they added all that stuff and then $40 for that expansion in Iceborne wasn't anything that was too much of a big ass. So I give them a lot of credit as far as that's concerned. I'm just really happy with how things are shaking out at this point, and hopefully this could be something of a normality going forward. You know, I'm not a big fan of things like Marvel's Avengers locking away free updates, but Avengers is going to have a significant update as well. Unfortunately, it's going to be free for PlayStation owners as well. And exclusive in that regard, but, you know, they got their monetary incentive on the fact that Sony probably paid them a lot of money. Nevertheless, as long as it's a free update for us, I'm not going to complain that much. All right, moving on from that, we've got gameplay details on Hitman 3. This time around, there will be no ghost mode, so that's something interesting to note. IO Interactive has announced the multiple game modes that will be available in Hitman 3 when it launches in January of 2021, which includes the return of elusive targets, contracts mode, and more. We've got campaign. The Hitman 3 campaign mode will take you on a globe-trotting adventure to sprawling sandbox locations and deliver a dramatic conclusion to the World of Assassination trilogy. Agent 47 returns as a ruthless professional for the most important contracts of his entire career. When the dust settles, the world he inhabits will never be the same again. You've got elusive targets. The stakes are high and the clock is ticking. Elusive targets are the ultimate hitman challenge and are designed to offer an exciting pulse-pounding experience. You need to take down uh, in a unique target with little to no help from the HUD or instinct and hatch a plan to eliminate them on the fly. Good luck in Hitman 3. We're making some changes to the elusive target formula that we'll reveal at a later date. You've got escalations. Pretty much anything goes in escalations. Expect your gameplay skills to be pushed to the max as new elements are thrown at you in each stage of the contract. Disguise restrictions, added security cameras, and other kinds of uh, complications will be thrown your way. You'll need to overcome them all and still manage to eliminate your targets to call your mission a success. Then you have contracts mode. Play to create us at the core of the contracts mode. Choose your own targets, choose how to eliminate them, and then make it all happen. Once you've completed the contract yourself, challenge friends to complete for the best score on the leaderboard. Powerful search tools let you find the exact type of contract that you want to play and look out for featured contracts where IO Interactive choose the best of the best to be played by the entire community. So that's definitely going to add some longevity to the game, so great to see that. 
You've got Sniper Assassin, dedicated to long-range assignment. Sniper Assassin takes you with eliminating targets and guards without triggering an alarm while completing challenges to boost your swarm multiplier. In Hitman 3, Sniper Assassin can be played in existing maps as a single-player experience only. We are preparing to sunset the co-op servers in Hitman 2 before the launch of Hitman 3 and we'll share an exact timeline and a solution to the mode's multiplayer trophies in the coming months. Lastly, you've got Ghost Mode, one versus one competitive multiplayer come to the Hitman franchise for the first time with Ghost Mode. With our focus uh, currently on other areas of the world of assassination, Ghost Mode won't be featured in Hitman 3, and we have made the difficult decision to shut down the Ghost Mode servers for Hitman 2 on Monday, August 31st, 2020. So wow, not giving you much of a heads up at all. We've learned a hell of a lot from Ghost Mode over the last two years, and we'll be taking all of those learnings on board for what we do in the future with regards to multiplayer. We want to send a sincere t thank you to all of our players who have enjoyed Ghost Mode over the last two years. We're looking forward to a few more matches online and raising a glass for Ghost Mode one final time. One other thing, the Phantom Suit, which can only be unlocked by playing Ghost Mode, will be unlocked, added as an unlock in Hitman 3. So it's kind of cool that they are circumventing certain issues with that. Hitman 3 is due out for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Google Stadia in January of 2021. So really not that far out at this point unless it does see an unfortunate delay. Lastly, I do want to note that Observer System Redux, which Observer was a great game, but now it's getting refined for the PlayStation 5, and we got a brand new graphics comparison trailer showcasing volumetric lighting, global illumination, ray tracing, and HDR, and more. Bluebird Team has recently released a new trailer for Observer System Redux comparing the new graphics of the Enhanced Remake to the August 27th release Original Observer. The remake promises truly immersive environments, volumetric lighting, global illumination, ray tracing, and high dynamic range, realistic materials, remade characters, new animation models, and more. The game is due out this holiday, and this is a game that a lot of people have missed out on, but I highly implore you to check it out. It's one that went a little under the radar, but it's got some great visuals, and honestly, I'm literally watching this trailer again as I'm recording this video, and it looks so much better on the PlayStation 5. So if you haven't checked it out yet, this is going to be a premier way to experience the game. It's got a great setting, really, really cool thematics and morals are at the core of this game. It's a game with a lot of shades of gray, uh, where you don't really have a good and a bad and there's a lot of deciphering for you to do for yourself but if you like the cyberpunk setting this one's going to be right up your alley and obviously cyberpunk 2077 is on the horizon as well so i feel like that kind of setting is going to be a little bit more in the know obviously this is going to be an entirely different game than cyberpunk 2077 but one that you should absolutely have on your radar and that's going to conclude this video again another great update for ghost of tsushima legends will not feature microtransactions that's so good to know hitman 3 details it's game modes no ghost mode this time around but it looks like they're adding a lot of other stuff and Observer System Redux graphics comparison trailer looks great. I'm excited to revisit the game one more time as they are revamping the game quite a bit. And that's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.